Korean brand is noted in sort of excellence in products, uh, Samsung products, LG products. And they're certainly leading in terms of patent applications. So would you say patent applications equal innovation? Could we say that Korea is an innovation economy? I, yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, again, I, I, as I mentioned earlier, numbers don't tell the entire story. And as Bamre had mentioned, when we looked actually at this chart for the first time, the Korean companies realized that numbers didn't necessarily equate to profits or protection or against lawsuits. The real key was making sure that you have good innovation and you focus on protecting the good innovation. So, to answer your question more directly, I, I would say that um, Korea is clearly an innovating country. Um, but what's nice is, and I see this in telecommunications all the time, um, yes, it's important to focus on, on um, the, most, you know, the most innovative um, technology. In telecommunications, for example, there are standards that govern almost every piece of technology that, that, that's involved. Like in, in, your, in your smartphone, every chip operates on algorithms and, and procedures and methods, and they're all standardized, and, and they need to be standardized, or you're using your smartphone in an AT&T network, when you go to a Verizon network, they wouldn't communicate with each other. Um, if I have a, an iPhone and I want to talk to Bum Ray and he's got his Samsung Galaxy, they wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to communicate with him if we didn't have these standards. And so in the telecommunications industry, these companies, all the, 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 the members of these standard um, organizations are members of the industry itself. So when you go to the 3G PP, um, standardization organization that standardizes all of our smartphone and telecommunications technologies. The members are Samsung, LG, Motorola, Ericsson. Th that's, those are Qualcomm. These are the members, and they all participate together standardizing the technology. Well, telecommunications technology over the past few years has, has so matured that when a company files a patent application, sometimes it's, it's an incredibly small leap over the existing technology. And you might say, is that really innovative? You changed an 8-bit word you know, to, to you know, a, you know, something, you know, a, a fewer amount of bits because you wanted to increase the bandwidth. Is that really innovative? Well, in many cases, you know, you can still get a patent on it and, it, and it actually reads on a requirement in the standard. Well, why is that important? Well, if it reads on a requirement in the standard, guess who's practicing your technology? Everybody in the industry. And so even though it seems like a small, insignificant patent, everybody practices it. And if everybody practices it, guess what? They have to have a license or they can't practice it. Or they can't practice it, they can't sell their smartphones. So I'm simplifying it a little bit, but my client LG, for example, we file hundreds, probably close to a thousand patents, you know, a year, many of them in telecommunications. And many of them seem like very small leaps in innovation. Almost every single one of them that are, that are standard blocking, what we say standard blocking, makes them money makes them money in licensing fees, makes them money from the standardization organizations, and they're very important. Yes, it's innovation, and it's, and it's valuable. Mm -hmm. So it's, I definitely see Korea as, as, as an innovative country, and um, there's all levels of in, innovation. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, as I said before, I'm hoping to see this happen in other technology sectors, not just the one that I'm, I'm familiar with. <laughs>